Hello everyone, today we're going to go over the six basic rules of strength training. Rule one is develop joint flexibility. Uh, joint flexibility is very important, especially when with preventing strains or pain in any of your joints, uh, such as your knees, elbows, ankles. This is also very important with ankle flexibility because this is a major area that can be injured, um, really take you out of doing any type of workout that you're trying to do. So good flexibility improves this and helps uh, avoid any type of stress injuries. Rule number two, development of ligament and tendon strength. Uh, for this, it helps improve uh, the faster you can keep your tendons and ligament strength, the faster that your strength overall will go. Um, overlooking the overall strengthening of ligaments and tendons can cause major injuries. Um, by this, you can see where training these tendons and ligaments, it causes them to enlarge in diameter and increases their ability to withstand tension and tearing. So this is important to gain strength when doing any type of strength training. Rule number three is development core strength. For this, uh, your core is your base for most everything. Developing a strengthened core is important because it helps make sure that you won't injure areas such as your back. Everything goes through your core. Um, many com people complain about low back problems. Um, the way to correct this is strengthening your core. It helps develop uh, back and abdominal muscles. So make sure you focus on getting that core strength when you're doing any type of strength training. Rule number four is develop the stabilizers. Stabilizers can uh, contract uh, primarily isometrically um, to mobilize a uh, limb so that another part of the body can act. For example, this could be for the shoulders to mobilize during uh, elbow flexation and the uh, abdominal muscles serve as a stabilizer when the arms throw a ball. Um, if you improperly do this, you may injure yourself or it can also hamper any of the major muscles in that area. Rule number five, uh, train movements and not just individual muscles. For this, uh, the purpose of strength training usually is for sports and you want to stimulate, uh, simulate a sports skill type feel. So for these actions, you want to do something that will give you advantage within sports. So make sure that the movements that you're doing while doing these workouts are to benefit those. They're multi-joint movements occurring in a certain order called the kinetic chain. For instance, uh, taking off, like an example would be taking off for a uh, ball when you're trying to catch it for baseball, you'll use the kinetic chain, which is hip extensions, then the knee extensions, then finally ankle extensions. That's part of the kinetic chain, and then also will help your feet apply force against the ground to lift your body up to catch the ball. Rule six, and the final one, is don't focus on what is new but what is necessary. For this, uh, the athlete uses a simple bench press, it could be like simple bench press, um, but then you go watch a video, see someone doing something else that's more advanced, more crazy. Don't, don't have to always do the thing that's new that says it's gonna work. Try doing working on things that you know that works and that can work with it. For this, uh, don't just try something that you hear about Try doing something that you know has worked and stick to that and not the necessary lifts that will help you benefit in your workouts going forward. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.